people, 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 people. Keep us a suck, per se, what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. In this video, I am going to speak about injustice in a Jamaica. I am going to speak about the double standard as it pertains to law and the difference in treatment that a poor man, a person from the garrison gets as opposed to the people with the face card, the people in you know, the upper echelon of society. I am going to speak specifically about a man. He is a dancehall artist. His name Dexterous spelt D-H-E-X-T-E-R-U-S. I guess some sorts of dinosaurs kind of name. Anyways, in 2017 or so, he was riding his bike and he was pulled over by some popo from Constant Spring. He is going to call the popo's name in his videos. When he was pulled over, don't know the circumstances of which he was pulled over. Apparently, he decided he want to jump off of the bike. He want to run left the bike. He would then come back and try to claim the bike. So people, like me say, me don't know if it is lack of registration, lack of fitness, lack of whatever the case is. Some sorts of road violation. The poor poor sees the bike. He tried to go back to get the bike. However, it's been six years or so and going. I am going to let him tell you exactly what occurred and what he has been going through. The drama, the stress, the injustice in his mind that he's been going through. Like I said, this is this man's side of the story. I am going to let him tell you exactly what occurred. And then I am going to let you hear a next video of him showing his documentation what occurred when he went to the Paw Paw station. Take a listen, take a look at the first set of videos. Yes, people, you see, out here making a trip. I just came off a flight. I have another flight to go catch. Once I catch that flight, then I have another flight. So I have three flights for this trip. Uh, I just get some disturbing news. Um, I get a call, someone told me that there's a lot of police presence at my, at my resident in Kingston and this is due to the bike that I'm talking about on TikTok. So what I'm saying people, I was silenced for six years and there was no police visit, no police check. But as soon as I started to talk about the injustice, police is at my resident in Kingston. But to be honest with y'all guys, I'm not scared, I'm just worried about the safety of my family in Kingston because these police they are so corrupt you understand what I say these people they would rather to hurt you for your own stuff than to give you justice it's crazy crazy people I've been traveling for so long as you can see I was traveling since 7 o'clock this morning and now it's like 11 o'clock reason being I was on my way to Jamaica. I get a call that Kansas Spring Police Sergeant and Gilvin his friends are at my house with a lot of high power weapon. I don't know what they're looking for. They are asking for me to arrest me for what I don't know about. So I have to cancel my flight from Jamaica and um, book another flight to somewhere else in the world. Now I'm waiting on another flight to go somewhere else in the world to just go chill. You understand? It's rough people. Injustice. It's wicked. So, I'm just gonna do what I have to do. And for now, Jamaica and the system. Now, people, like you hear the man say, all of this is because of some sorts of incident involving a bike. Meaning that some sorts of traffic violation. He was wrong. The poor poor pull him over. Me don't know if him speed left the bike. They eventually caught up to him. Don't know exactly what occurred. However, he said him run left the bike 
and then the power power them seize the bike a traffic offense in a traffic offense is either you're gonna take the vehicle you're gonna take the bike the car or the bike you are going to give this person a ticket this person is going to lose some points eventually if that person keeps doing the same thing his license is going to be suspended for some period of time a year or two may not know the specifics so it is a ticketable offense that means uh, either you're gonna arrest him and say all right you run left the bike so therefore we're gonna lock you up this is 2017 within a 2013 thus far all the man wants obviously you got the opportunity because the man came to the power power station the man wants back his bike as a matter of fact he did a next video where he went to the constant spring power power station in person along with somebody else so therefore they had the opportunity then to arrest him if he was wanted if he was a suspect or a person of interest in any sort of crime I think that the problem is you take the people bike and you seize the bike and for some sorts of reason the bike went missing gone with the wind nobody held it accountable nobody was held accountable for this man's bike or property even if you are a criminal once you get locked up if you have on a rolex watch you have on a gold chain with all sorts of bling bling it goes in your property once that case is finished or once you are on bail unless of course that bike or that vehicle was used in some sorts of crime and it is a part of evidence then you should get back your bike without a shadow of a doubt that was not the case you heard him call the person's name from Constant Spring Power Power Station or Gilvey. You saw the man in at the airport. He was on his way to Jamaica. He lives overseas. He no longer lives in Jamaica. Luckily for this man. He was on his way back to Jamaica. After making several posts on social media. Calling out exposing these corrupted Power Power. They went to his house with all sorts of tall up they had this man's whole family petrified and scared because you would have thought that the way that they went in a all sorts of gear with all sorts of tall up is as if them are look for Jamaica's most wanted all because the man spoke about his bike he had to make a change of plan right there in at the airport because even though he said that he was not afraid or scared for his life he had reasons to be concerned because don't act as if we've not heard of stories of some little case in which the people end up losing them life Kentucky kid hint 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 so I am going to also show you a video of when he went to the power post station and him explaining all that he has been through through the court take a listen take a look people watch ya from 2017 from 2017 bike walk out of police station popular police sergeant from the constant spring police station thief my motorcycle let me show you him name so this was the bail ban from 2017 february 2017 six years now so this is it this is it See police there, Sergeant Larry O'Gilvy. Right? So these are all the court documents. Six years now, I'm trying to get back my motorcycle. Six years. Mr. Andrew Wolness, Prime Minister, Mr. Delroy Chucks, Justice Minister, I need y'all to give me a little attention over here. Six years now. See? This is a paper from the Inspectorate of Police. I'm going to make this video short and spicy. These are all my f***ing statement. These are all my statement. These are Sergeant Ogilvy lawyer, defendant paper, right? This is my criminal report. I've never been in the criminal database yet. 
So these are all court papers. Six years now, and I really need some answers. Six fucking years now. So people, I'm going to play a voice note. And in this voice note, you're going to hear the voice of Sergeant Ogilvy. Sergeant Larry Ogilvy. And more y'all tell me what you think about his attitude and how he was acting inside the police station. So I'm going to play the voice note now. You want me to say I don't mean season a bike? I must say Mr. Reed. Yeah, man. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know, Mr. Nothing to him. Mr. The boy, come off. When you come here, ask him how long the boy come off the bike around on the road. Then, boy, in the argument, him a girl, him will have a girl, Baba, me tell the girl, say, we go on home. I know, me and boy, in the whole argument. Tell him to come over here. Tell him to come over here. You can't get money back here. That's the answer. It really is here. So, what about the child that I'm supposed to come for? I read it also. I read it easy enough. But read is a waiting on him. Read have some summons to so give him. So read. You can't get back the bike when you read prosecute him. Read is waiting on him. So, people, the man show you him criminal history. And again, he was wrong. The police pull you over. Do not run out of your car, run left your bike. Them are going things say something suspicious. However, people, in the place that we live, if you make a mistake and you decide say you want to avoid the poor poor by blazing off in your vehicle on your bike, you might end up getting caught up whether in the front or in the back. That is reality. So sometimes these youth, they might get scared and I am not justifying their action because it is D-E-A-D -E wrong. However, when you seize the bike and you give the man the tickets and you arrest him and you charge him, he is out on bail. He showed you his criminal history. He showed you his documentation from the courts. In that voice note, if you listen attentively, you could hear Ogilvy claiming that him grab and pass somebody, purse or bag or something, people. I don't believe that and I am not justifying this youth's action because me no know me think say the officer just has said that. Why didn't he charge him then? Why wasn't that charge on it initially from 2017? How now since the bike get missing, the bike is not at the poor poor station, the bike is not in property, there is no sorts of sighting of the bike so therefore Somebody must have moved that bike. So you're going to ask yourself, how is it that somebody got taking bike? The bike not register in a freedom name, so therefore them can't use it. This is Jamaica, the tax office, the motor vehicle unit, everybody corrupt. So therefore, if you get somebody bike and you as a poor poor officer want it, you can register it because you have criminals working in corrupted place where you can get a registration, you can get a title, you can get fitness, you can get everything even if you don't have the proper documentation. Once you have that cash, once you have crooked friends and you are a crooked popo, you can get things done. This is Jamrock. At the end of the day, if the man violates something, charge him lock him up give him a ticket take it through the legal process however once you misplace or misrepresent or miss or thief the people them damn thing there is something definitely wrong it shows that you are corrupt and people do not act as if we do not know that jamaica is not the most corrupt place especially 
when you talk about Constant Spring Power Power Station, that is the epicenter of bribery and corruption. One of the worst places in a Jamaica as it pertains to Power Power Station. And most of them are pretty bad. That is not based on what I am saying. That is based on recent history. Things that they have done. Now people, like me say, this youth live in a Canada. Him live overseas. Me have all sorts of video with him showing the lifestyle that he lives. I am going to show you a video of him in his vehicle. Nice vehicle, leather seat, sun and moonroof. This is the video right here. Yeah, thinking Sergeant Larry you Gilvey. I bet say thief in car where I drive now sunroof. And leather interior. And fully loaded. Cause you know must feel like say. I desperate, me desperate, me, 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 me depend on social media, I ride for my bike. I don't desperate. This is me. Now, people, like me say, me don't know how this man get the money. He is an artist. Me don't know him as any sorts of top artist, aspiring, trying artist. However, he lives in a place where he has opportunity, where the average person can buy a nice vehicle, live in a nice place. So why would a man like this go try grab somebody bag pan him nice bike in which is now missing? People, these are all common sense things. These are not isolated incidents that occur in Jamaica as it pertains to these poor poor. Some of these poor poor, they are licky licky, them red eye, and I am not going to say that applies to Ogilvy. But based on what this man is saying, obviously Ogilvy is in some sort of court case. Obviously, the man's bike is missing. That is the problem most of all. If we don't want to charge somebody now, seven or six years later, then it might be too late. When you had the opportunity, you should have done so. So people, like I said, this video is about the double standard in a Jamaica. There was a young lady, her name is Miss Issa. Her son was taken out in Mobe. The poor poor and John public feels as if this lady have something to do with it. The poor poor asks, the investigators ask decently. The judge in the courts put out at least two or three court orders for this lady to turn over her phone. That phone has not yet been turned over. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look at the response of the poor poor. I think his name is Mr. Clifford. Take a listen, take a look. We are in a position to arrest the mother if and when she's seen for breaching the court order. Um, our team also looked at the comment by, by her that um, their case where you know, we could access information from the phone through the telecommunication provider. Um, legal counsel might well be advised that um, those are case studies which relate to a different circumstances, not so much WhatsApp and those encrypted data. Now, people, the reason for showing this video, like I said, this is all about double standard, the different response in which people get when Paul Paul assumed that, yes, is a garrison youth this versus somebody from uptown, the Issa. We know without a shadow of a doubt that this lady knows something that she is hiding. However, not even the judge can get this lady to comply. There was also a next case that is in the court right now. It is called SSL. Those persons stole billions of Jamaican. There is one lady, Mrs. Panton. She is a scapegoat. Everybody and their mother know, including Andrew Holness, including Nigel Clark, including the Commissioner of Paw Paw, the Justice Minister, the Security Minister, the DPP, knows that the cross carry knows that the Hardings are deeply involved, however, because of their status, because of their hierarchy, 
because of money. No poor poor even asked them a question. No poor poor went to their house. However, with this man, the poor poor got them as if them a look for the most wanted, as if a wandan or Tesha Miller or some other notorious gangster them a look for. People, you have to understand we are dealing with some young youths. Sometimes some of them not come from a stable home. Sometimes there is a fear of the poor poor. So therefore, sometimes they make mistake and I am not saying that it is justified because we know that there are criminal elements out there. Whatever this man did, you charge him, you arrest him, you seize his bike. The man simply wants back his bike. Not because you assume that this man is from the garrison. The man went on social media and he spoke for his rights. All he wanted is justice. So therefore, because you know, sir, you and probably your friend, take the man thing, have it on a yard in our possession when it's supposed to be in the possession of the station. Uno ga come now and try use scare tactics with your next criminal poor poor and people. The sad thing is that whenever the poor poor do something, his other poor poor back him up, even when he is D E A D wrong, even when he is a criminal, his actions are criminal. And last but not least, the face of this man that you see. Those are not the criminals in Jamaica, so therefore don't be brainwashed. Yes, a lot of them look like how this man look, braid up, tattoo up, bleach out or brown, whatever the case is. However, the true criminals look like your prime minister, look like the Crosskeries, look like the Issas, look like the Hardings. And that is a fact, point blank and period. So anyways, people. Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.